Kia ora tata. So we've been talking for uh, the past few days, uh, my fellows and I, around kind of this idea of leaning into uncertainty. Uh, so you get to do that with me today. Uh, so I'm in a place right now where I'm kind of going through exploration and trying to decide where I spend my time next. Uh, but before I kind of lean into uncertainty with you, uh, maybe I can tell you a little bit about me and kind of what I've been doing up until this point. Uh, so actually to start with, I'd love some audience interaction. Uh, so for anyone that has watched Star Trek, Star Wars, or any space movie, I'll go ahead and start off by kind of polling the audience to see who prefers Star Trek over Star Wars. So hands for Star Trek now. Okay, okay. Hands for Star Wars. Wow, all right. Clear winner, clear winner. Uh, okay, so for me, uh, I come from San Francisco. Uh, that's where I hail from. Uh, and for a few years, I spent time basically building and launching small shoebox-sized satellites uh, with an understanding that we could use a lot of small satellites in low Earth orbit to better understand the planet. Uh, so what we did is we focused on uh, global ship tracking. Uh, so it sounds a little creepy, but we could track every single commercial ship on the face of the planet and give you a clear understanding of where it came from, where it's going, its heading, its speed, its type of cargo, and all sorts of other odds and ends. And then we also use those same satellites to track high fidelity weather data. Uh, so in much the same way that we heard earlier, uh, weather is a truly global system. So everything interacts with everything else uh, in a way that we often don't really think about uh, or don't consider. So what we did is we launched a lot of these little shoebox sized satellites and we thought if we have all these satellites crisscrossing the planet, we could get a truly global picture of what's happening all over, all the time. Uh, so that's what I did before. Uh, what I found actually in working on space and working on those satellites is that data without context is tantamount to ignorance in a way. Uh, so what we found is that if you have a single data set and you lack kind of the contextual information around that data set, you can go in a very wrong or uh, very uh, roundabout circuitous direction. Uh, and so for me, one of the big things that I'm trying to tackle right now, trying to think through, is this idea of how to add context to data in a scalable fashion. Uh, so we've heard things about uh, machine learning, computer vision, AI, uh, and those systems feed on data the same way that you and I feed on the little snacks and the tea and everything that we had earlier, and we'll have in, well, well lunch, just shortly after I get off the stage. Uh, so <laughs> fundamentally trying to think through what are those contextualization elements that you can add to uh, unique data sets in order to pull out a greater understanding and level of information from those data sets. Uh, a couple of the areas that I'm kind of diving into, and again, this is the uncertainty piece where I can share with you kind of uh, where my mind is at. Uh, I'm looking at everything from uh, understanding water as a resource. Uh, so fundamentally, we're all made up of water, and this planet uh, lives and breathes in terms of how much water it has and how uh, that water is being consumed, replenished, et cetera. Uh, so trying to understand uh, where we're consuming water, where it's being replenished, how fast, uh, how efficiently it's being utilized, et cetera. Uh, all the way down to focusing on things around identity. Uh, so what makes me, me? What makes you, you? And how does that play into not only the ownership of your own data, uh, but then also how that allows you to access either the information or the places that you want to get into. Uh, so rather than having a set of keys and passwords and whatnot and thinking about kind of access and identity in the form of a place and a physical space or a digital space, but more around you as the person on this idea of kind of an identity bank in a way. Uh, all the way to, you know, again, uh, disparate kind of ideas and things rolling around in my head, uh, this notion of security. Uh, so as we think about kind of our growing digital footprint and our growing physical footprint and the uh, globalization, digital nomads, et cetera, how do you start to think about uh, securing your own data uh, in a way that is meaningful and measurable. Uh, so that's me. I'm Chris. Please come embrace uncertainty with me, and I uh, would love to talk with you all. As
Thank you.